All right, people, we're still rolling through this project here and uh, working on uh, the GT4, getting it set up so that it's uh, protected and, uh, or corrected and protected so that I can enjoy it. Uh, it makes it easier to clean, makes it easier to maintain. Uh, and so I prefer the 3M Precision over the Poly Precision. The Poly Precision is the purple stuff. Uh, and so I'm gonna bring you around and show you some taping here, show you what I'm gonna tape off. We're gonna remove the wheels. I've already taken off the side markers in preparation for a clear. Clear markers should be here by the time I'm done with the car. And then I'm gonna take the wing off and stuff like that. So I want to tape all the, especially the black porous plastic stuff. I don't want to get frickin' polish in there and then have to scrape it out or use peanut butter or toothbrush or some other bull crap. I don't want that. Especially this beautiful, fresh black plastic on this brand new car. I like to just tape the whole headlights. Why not? It takes, it takes an extra minute to do the whole thing. Figure spend the time now taping it so I won't have to polish the crap out or clean the crap out of this stuff later. So taking the wing off is not absolutely necessary, but we'll make this a whole lot easier. And I can polish the underside of it as well. Oh shoot. Should stay on there. Hope. I'm like taking apart your brand new $130,000 car on day three. It's the only way I know how to do it. All right, we're good. Let me get, got it. All right, last one. I just want to be careful. Carpet ceramics are very different. You don't want to chip. Once you chip it, you're done. Just lift it off and around, we're good. All right, so I'm deep in the throes of polishing. I've done most of the car, did a test panel and all that stuff earlier uh, yesterday, I guess two days ago. Uh, so here's the combination that's working. I'm forcing myself to use the flex tools on this so I continue to develop a, um, I guess a skill set or expertise around them. Uh, but what I'm using is microfiber because the paint is pretty darn hard on this. And the way that I know that is because I'm looking at it and it uh, doesn't take the scratches out when I tried doing some other combinations. I tried yellow with, um, with Sonex Perfect Finish, that didn't take it all out. Then I tried wool with, uh, actually yellow wool with uh, Jessicar Correction Compound, that didn't take it all out. Uh, and so I'm having to do at least one pass, in some cases two or three passes, on some of these stubborn little scratches from, you know, from the factory. Uh, there's a few little water spots or some other little weird stuff on here, but the car is correcting out really nicely. So I'm doing most of the project with, this is the XFE 7, three inch, and then uh, the cordless XFE 15. This is the random orbital version, not the force rotation version. And then let's get our pads ready to go here. Let me just shake this up. I would shake polishes. And I'm going to prime the pad. I think I've probably used about, this is probably my seventh pad, seventh or eighth pad I've used on the car. Blowing it out after, I generally blow it out after every other pass. This claw tool is freaking awesome. So I'm going to be revamping as part of our building out the entire ultimate obsessed garage package. I, we just uh, updated the interior package. I'm going to update the polishing package as well, eliminating some of the things in the store that I don't really use. Again, my goal is not to retail; it's to uh, curate. Let's just get our uh, let's get our three-inch pad set up too while we're at it. 
These are brand new Meguiar's microfiber cutting pads, which are my favorite. But my new policy is I'm not cleaning pads anymore. I'm just selling them. I'm sure they're already sold by the time you're watching this video, so don't send us an email because it's not going to do you any good. Three inch, and actually, I want to do the three inch up here first anyway. Let's move my thing out of the way. I'm trying to be fancy for the video. Just move this back a bit. Close this so we're not bothering the guys with our polisher humming. And uh, I found myself using this using the XFE7, I like it a lot more than the Rupes 3 inch version. Just feels more, feels smoother. I feel like it has a little more torque. I like where the position of the, uh, the speed dial is above the power cord, not below it. Similar, I don't even know what this thing costs. I think it's a little bit less expensive. Um, but yeah, I found that uh, I, you know using the cordless version on the car has done you know done extremely well. Even even needing to uh, hammer down quite a bit on some of the areas. I'm running it at speed four and a half. finding that it's really difficult to see and for whatever reason the pluffle towels I was just complaining about this the other day about I don't know why anybody likes plush towels but I don't know the pluffle towels seem to be working better on this car for some reason I normally like the yellow towels see I don't like plush towels because they bunch up when I'm removing polish but This is why I like having a bunch of towels, and even though we're giving each towel a job, a specific task, um, sometimes we'll repurpose it, use it for something different. I've been using the Phoenix light a lot on this. Oh yeah. So what I've had to do on this car is that in a few instances, I've had like a deeper little scratch from who knows what that I've had to go back and revisit. And so I've been inspecting this car a lot more than other cars that I generally would just pick a process and just use it and not micromanage it. But on this, I found that one, I want it to be great, but I found it, uh, I needed to go back and revisit. So let's do the rest of this here. There's a couple of water spots right there. Probably pretty superficial water spots should come right out. Just from shipping. So I'll finish this here. I already did all that. I already did the tail lights. I know a lot of people love the PXC80. I don't know. I'm just not. I don't know how to explain it. I'm just not a huge, huge fan of it. It's it's good and it's good to have, but I find myself rarely using it. Sweet, those water spots came right out. Bigger machine. The beauty of this machine is I can walk right out here and blow it out. No cords. That air compressor is freaking awesome. Yeah. 
This car is going to look freaking incredible. And it's done. It's almost done. coming out really nice. The front fenders were a lot of work. Took three, four, or five passes in some instances. The rear fenders were a lot of like straight line scratches. Just kind of rough it up. Keep rolling. There haven't been any really fun parts of this car other than the roof and the front uh, front trunk, the hood. There's so much freaking curves and crap. So I've been kind of, got in a groove yesterday and got a lot done. But that's why I wanted to, I was doing finishing each section, so I finished each section. Like I did the door and the fender and then I finished it. I did the, you know, the back of the roof, finished the roof. And so normally I won't do that, but I don't know, it seemed to make a little more sense on this car. So let's do this section with the five inch. And then we'll get the three inch out and work on all this crap. the three inch on the other side. To me this section is about just as much about cleanup as it is just cleaning up the jams more about that than it is about just outright correction. So I'm not as concerned about looking for scratches or swirls or imperfections. It's more of just about getting all the gunk out of there so it'll accept the coating nicely. We'll follow with our perfect finish in here as well. Makes our jams look real shiny and I'll take care of them so they shouldn't get all swirled out. Almost there, almost there. So here's what we got. You don't want a rotary with microfiber. You need a rotary with foam. And so I got the little Rupes extension on the Nano, long neck Nano, so I can get around here on the edge of the mirror. Turn it down. Crap everywhere. What's the best way to get in here? Yeah, I think I just skipped that part. <laughs> Said screw it, I don't want to smack my meter. I'm going to call that good enough. Good enough garage. 
freaking polish everywhere. Flung it all over the whole darn car. Okay, let's do our mirror. Haven't done that yet. I've already polished the glass. <clears throat> Once we do all this correcting, the finishing is way faster, way easier. This side right here. Good. So we're going to prop the door open so that way we don't blow through any edges. Clips on there, clips in there. And that's why I did that edge, because I can't get to the edge, because now the door's open. I like to do on the doors, just keep rolling, just leave the polish there, that way I can see where I, where I ended up. Now we could take the door handles off and take the doors apart, but I don't, it's a new car, so it's not as, uh, it's not very beat up in there. Very last spot, bottom part, the door, and you finish. All right, let's check our work here on this. I hate doors. I like, I, like, I like the front bumper more than the doors for some reason. I guess I don't hate doors as much as I used to now that I'm able to put it at whatever height I need it to be. That's a nice, nice thing to be able to do. I did a pretty darn good job. I don't see anything. The doors were pretty clean looking. like that spot right there. Look at that one spot. I don't think I could show you on camera. That's right there. Just like a little nick, like a little scratch. I think I can get out. find it anymore so looks darn good though this whole car all right we put it down here and just double check the top of the door let's finish so finishing will take half the time that it took to do the compounding good there was a little scratch up here that we got out shoot just notice the scratch right here let's try and get that out real fast got lazy on you there let me go blow blow this out and get that out while I'm here snuck through on me it's because I polished the fender with the uh, with the hood up all right we're good got it golden okay so now let's get set up to finish so now I won't prop the door open I'll just do this whole whole thing swap the batteries that's the thing with this polisher the battery doesn't Oh shoot, scrap that, I gotta put the wing on. Dang it. I 
All right, wings on. Let's start by showing you what we're working with here to show you that the car isn't perfect from the factory. Let's get all my grubby fingerprints off of it. Because I already polished the underside. It's exciting. Getting the wing back on. The coating is going to look freaking insane on this thing. Now this blue I found is kind of hard to see. I don't know if we're getting that pigtail out there, but let me, uh, let me grab the sun match light. Probably a little easier for you to see what's good going on here all right so let me see if i can show you this here see if i can find it again there's some real deep etched so right here right above my finger so towards the front of the car see those little swirly do's like a little little pigtail and then there's a bunch of scratches now again we're nitpicking here because it's a, it's a new car so it shouldn't be bad but there's some scratching here but in general it's not terrible, but we're going to clean this right up. The question is whether we're going to be able to get the pigtails out. There's a pretty decent sized scratch right here, right above my finger. Kind of goes like that. There's another decent scratch right there. And then there's a big old bunch of pigtails right here and that comes from sanding so there's a squirrely do right right on top of my finger another scratch there so we're gonna clean it up and see what happens now those pigtails are pretty deep and dark deep and dark not happy See what we got. It's almost like they s sanded. There's still remnants of it left over. I wonder if I make another pass. I'm not gonna be able to show you that on camera. I can barely catch it in the orange peel. All the scratches are out. But there's there's like it almost looks like a pigtail in the base coat, but I don't think they would have sanded the base coat. Just like a little, sort of the edges. I wonder if this one came out over here. I haven't gone over that far yet. Let's do another set of passes. Make sure we blow out our pad after each pass. You may want to get the LHR-15 out and hammer down on this. Let's try this. Let's see if this does a little better with the grooves. Three inch it is. I didn't think the three inch would spin through that, that little groove there on the wing. That's about as far as I want to take it. There's an, again, there's no way I can show you, but it knocked off all the edge of the pigtail. It's like, unless you we're looking at it under this light very specifically. You're never going to see it, so it's good. We'll call that 95%. Let's keep it working through it here with the three inch. You just kind of have to lift up, take the pressure off the polisher as we're getting into that groove and hope that it keeps spinning. Now it's gonna, it's still gonna move side to side, oscillate, just loses its spin there on that. Wow, that's good, that's real good. Yep, that's pretty, that's pretty right there, people. It's taking a lot longer than I thought it would take to do the wing. The three inch is just a better way to do it.
think I got that other pigtail I'm pretty darn good. All right, let's get this last section of the wing and then we'll finish. Compounding is done. Man, what a, what, a, what a process. I don't know how many hours I'm in, but actually, it wasn't too bad. Pretty enjoyable. Working with Jess Car is enjoyable. Working with like 101 or something like that, not so much fun. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Nice and pretty. Gonna look even better in a second when we finish it. Wow. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, so let's swap our pads. New Rupes White is a little bit stiffer than old Rupes White. They basically have done away with having force rotation pads and DA pads, so now they just have rotary and DA pads. Let's prime it. This is Sonex perfect finish. And we'll do the whole darn wing. Yeah, this is the best part, wiping off perfect finish. Yeah, that's freaking awesome. Really awesome. Nicest part about Jeskar perfect finish combo, one of the nicest parts other than the finish that we get is that all I have to do is just do a real basic wipe down of the car with eraser and then I can go right to coating. I don't feel the need to go out and wash the car off and I might blow out the jams and stuff, but just wipe off each section as I'm as I'm coating, but I don't feel that it's like the car doesn't look like a disaster like it does when you do some other, you know, more aggressive compounds and stuff. Shoot, we should have finished this before I put the freaking wing back on. Dang it. Bonehead move. Rookie mistake. I don't know if I can get the three inch under there. I don't think so. Dang it. Eh, stupid. Now I'm always gonna know. Can't quite get over there. Rookie mistake, Maddie. You got too hasty. That's right, there's like a little tiny area that I can't quite get to. Gumbo. Let's see if I can get right here. Nope. Oh, there's like a two inch area. <laughs> it's all right, Jeskar finishes down so nicely. We'll be okay. See, look, I missed that spot right there. <sighs> Amateur hour. I thought about that earlier too, and I just didn't, didn't think about the finishing step. Now we've got an unfinished one inch by one inch area. Someone's gonna see that. Taillights have been polished. I don't polish headlights, but you can polish taillights. Come back up, finish the sucker off. This is it.
Boom. Done. The best part, getting the tape off. It's magical. Magical wonderland of corrected car. Great existence. Especially when you did it yourself. Oh, man. So good. You know it's legit when I start whisper talking. Have we hit 200K yet? Let's see where we're at. Oh, shoot. I forgot my dinner. My lunch is right there. Oh, 185. That's weak. Something about that last panel wiping off the, the perfect finish. Peeling off the remaining tape. So that's the end of polishing. That's what 15 or 20 hours of your life looks like. But I am so addicted to this result that I keep going back over and over again for more punishment in order to get the car to look like that. And I know on camera, a lot of times it looks similar, but I'm telling you, scratch free, defect free, water spot free, pigtail free, awesomeness. And then we'll keep it looking as nice as possible. And then, you know, in a year and a half or so, we'll do this again and keep it looking good. That's assuming I have it a year and a half from now. So that's, uh, that's the wrap of polishing. Next step will be to wipe everything down, all the jams and everything with some eraser and panel wipe and prepare for coating. But I gotta work on the wheels.